Hello guys and welcome back again to another episode of Tools and Gadgets and today we have an RTX 3080 by MSI. It's the Gaming X Trio. It has 10 gigabytes of VRAM and it also has the GDDR6X memory. So the ones that is causing the uh, heat all over this is because of the GDDR6X memory, the VRAM memory. So for today, I had ordered the Thermalrite Extreme Odyssey 3mm pads. I also have the 1mm pads. I'm going to be using this the other day. Uh, so for today, we'll be focusing on this because we'll just be replacing the thermal pads on the back plate. So we'll be using the three millimeter pads. Uh, also guys, um, one thing that is nice about this MSI Gaming X Trio is because you don't need to take everything apart just to reach the back plate. All you need to do is just take out these screws on the back and you have access already on the back plate. So yeah, let's begin. And before that I'm going to show you the before results. The one that I was mining a while ago using this one. I'm going to be showing to you the temps now. You say I make you nervous, a tragedy. I'm a beautiful disaster, a reckoning. You wonder how I So here's the MSI Gaming X Trio 3080 and we're hitting a 108 to 110 memory junction temperature and currently we are at 89 mega hash okay so here's our current overclock settings usually when we turn on the AC this goes up to around 94 to 96 so after swapping the thermal pads on the back plate of this MSI RTX 3080 hopefully we could get a pretty good results okay so we're back we're just gonna be taking out these screws yeah so be sure to slightly don't over using too much force so that you won't be denting the screws I don't know if this will avoid any MSI warranty but yeah I really need to change the pads because I'm reaching 108 to 110 memory junction temperature Yeah, so I also placed a heat sinks around the VRAM, but it just held around 2 degrees Celsius. But on the good side is that from around 80 mega hash, I maxed out at around 84 to 85 mega hash with these heat sinks installed. So yeah, just take out the screws carefully and place them where you can see them. We will not be taking out today the front plate, just the back plate today. Because that's all we are swapping the heat sink, I don't know, thermal pads for the back plate. And let's see if there's really changes on the memory junction temperature. Because these MSI RTX 3080s, they throttle at around 110 degrees Celsius, which is, it really sucks. 
So yeah, at first I was thinking that there was a, a hole here. There's a screw underneath this warranty, but yeah, when I press it, there's no, nothing. So I was happy. <laughs> Okay, so we took out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 screws all in all. Okay, so just gently open it. Remember that I just used this for mining a while ago so it's still hot okay so there we have it so we'll be swapping these heat sinks for a thermal right uh, I think this are where is that? 12.8. I really don't know the, <laughs> what this stands for, but this is a thermal conductivity of 12.8. So I guess that's a better compared to this, the stock ones. Okay, so we'll just measure. Uh, as of now, I'll just fast forward this so that you won't get bored. I don't know if this will fit this what size is this I'll just place the link I'll just place the size of this on the link <laughs> in the description I mean so yeah hmm, not quite sure but yeah we'll just try it so I'm gonna replacing this 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 and this I'll not be including this since this is not the VRAM only this are the ones touching the VRAMs. So, yeah. I got a bad feeling about this. Old walls that I built for you Just to dig me out with silver spoons No, I didn't see it coming So that's about it. So we'll be placing this back again to the backboard, but first of all, don't forget to peel this off. You won't be making any conductivity with the VRAMs. And hopefully all goes well. And we'll be seeing lower temperatures. Okay. Just 
just make sure to align the align everything up and what you're gonna do is when you just half tighten the screws first then what I want to do is that I will interchange the pressure on the back plate so that you will get an even press on the center. Yeah, don't tighten it all the way in, not yet. So why am I changing the thermal pads? It's because the GDDR6 tends to get really hot and it thermal throttles at around 10, 110 degrees Celsius, which really sucks in mining, by the way. But the 3080 is really capable of doing such thing, not just the VRAM's temperature course so that's why we're changing the thermal pads after this I'll stick this back in the mining rig then we'll check the temperatures hopefully I've seen Somebody else that dropped around 20 degrees Celsius. I hope mine does that too. So here what you want to do is you want to balance the pressure. Don't over tighten everything in one go. Okay, so that's it. Uh, I'll bring this upstairs and we'll check the temperatures. Okay guys, finish installing this bad boy over here. And now we're gonna try open up the mining. So here's the NVIDIA GeForce RTX. We're sitting at 50 degrees Celsius memory junction temperature. Let's see if that spikes up. Okay. Okay, so it's already online. We are still at a hundred and four. So that means probably it did not work. Hundred four, hundred six. Two 
108. I know guys. It did not work at all. I don't know. I'll try to solve the problem and get back to you. So yeah guys, we are now at still 110 degrees Celsius at 96 mega hash. So yeah, that's about it. By just replacing the back plate thermal pads, uh, I don't know if it changed something, but usually at 100, oh it's hovering 108 and 110. Usually I'll be getting around 80 something. So right now I'm getting a 96 at a 110 degrees Celsius. So on the next video guys, I'll try to change also the front thermal pads. Okay, so that's about it. So once again guys, if you do enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, Tools and Gadgets, and see you again in our next vlog. Bye!